This guy, the Bedford Heights bear, still on the run tonight. He was spotted several times today, but not just in Bedford Heights. News Channel 5's Michael Baldwin has been tracking the bear all day and joins us from Solon with more. And Michael, I guess at one point this morning he was spotted on somebody's front porch. Yeah, he was spotted on somebody's front porch. Actually, uh, one of our producers had spotted him. The police had came over, and uh, by when they got there, he had uh, taken off. Now, the Bedford Heights Police Department has called off their search. They last saw him running along these tracks here. They said he was headed south, but you wouldn't believe where he made a surprise appearance today. The Bedford Bear, as he's now known, has struck again. Remember yesterday when he was hosed by the fire department as they tried to get him out of this tree? Well, guess who he came to say hello to this morning? He was in this area here. He came to the front by the doors of the fire department. That's right, the fire department. He came around to this area as he saw the police cars coming. He shot directly back. Bedford Heights Assistant Police Chief David Leonardi got up close and personal with the Bedford Bear. For some reason, around breakfast time, He's been showing up here. Our, the whole problem is, is that when he shows himself, we have a school right here. This is our school. And usually, for whatever reason, now the last two mornings, he comes out just as the children are coming to school. Around 9 a.m. today, the Bedford Bear was spotted on the tracks headed toward the Tinker's Creek area. Which is uh, where we would like him to stay. We stopped and talked with Bedford Heights Police Chief Michael Morata. We wanted to know after yesterday when the bear was hosed and came down from the tree, what was the plan? The bear just seemed to be running around. The Division of Wildlife suggests that since this bear hasn't shown any aggression towards people, uh, to kind of just let him go his way and he'll find his way back into uh, the uh, environment from where he came. All right, if the bear is still in the area, what they plan on doing is uh, tracking him. They're going to get together with the Department of Wildlife, try to find out where he's sleeping, and uh, they want to have him removed. But clearly, that is easier said than done. We're in Solon. I'm Michael Baldwin, News Channel 5. Yeah, I think we can see by now the bear has his own plan. <laughs> so. yeah. Absolutely. He seems to be making himself at home at some points, too. So, so nice that he went back to visit the firefighters as well. Michael, thank you. Just trying to be nice. Yeah. Okay. All right.